I'd like to bring our next inductee to the 2011 McIntosh High School Sports Hall of Fame, Danny Kerr and Coach Bunky Colvin, who will, will present his recognition to the stage. Former McIntosh High School soccer coach Jeff Ford, who was originally slated to present this award, could not be with us tonight. And he asked Coach Colvin, who is cur currently serving as the men's soccer coach at McIntosh High School, to make this presentation for him. Mr. Ford is fighting his third bout with cancer, and we ask that you keep him in, his, in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, Mr. Colvin began coaching, working with Coach Ford in 1995, and joined the McIntosh High School faculty in 2001. Will you play the video? Danny Care is my name, soccer's my game. last year. Did he do anything for you like for Father's Day or anything? No, nah, he just forgets me. Well, he didn't forget where he was at here at Riggs Field against Virginia. Great goal. You guys are leading right now 1-0. We'll hope for more if for your sake. We, we are hoping so.
presentation. Uh, as the soccer coach here, the, the legacy of Danny Care uh, continues. It, it's not just about soccer, I don't think, though. Jeff made a tradition that we weren't going to retire uniform numbers, we were going to retire jerseys, but um, we rarely print number 18. And only time that we do that is when the young man has the potential to become an All-American. And we've had three All-Americans um, since. Whenever offered that jersey, none of those young men have ever taken it. And generally, it's because they grew up watching Danny, not just as a player, but as a person. And I think they look at it as something special, something that they haven't achieved yet, but that they want to. They want to become the kind of player and man. And when they heard Jeff Ford talk about Danny or myself, they, they heard about a guy who wasn't just a great soccer player, but was a good person and who had become a great father and husband. And uh, it is a legacy and a standard that we still strive for. And we owe that to Danny and to the legacy of Coach Ford. There's nothing Jeff wanted more than to be here tonight. I, I could see the, the frustration because this was a night that was very special. As starting the girls and boys programs here, Jeff really wished to be here. And after retiring from coaching uh, last year, he, he had a lot of accolades, being in the top five winningest coaches in the state and many coaching awards. But he often said things to me that the awards didn't matter to him as much as he would talk about coaching players like Ginger and Jennifer. He said to me today, you've got to say Jennifer was the toughest athlete I ever coached. But when he says the words Danny Care, you see love in his eyes and a smile immediately on his face. You see the joy. And he, he took with great pride telling people Danny Care was player of the year, Mr. Georgia soccer, an All-American in high school and college, and drafted number one round by DC United in the MLS. He walked around and talked about those things with pride. But he also talked about what a great young man he was and how proud he was that he was his coach. He asked me to read the following statement on his behalf. And, and I just ask that uh, if you know Jeff, you know, send your prayers his way. He truly wished he could be here and if it were not for the chemo, he would be here. This is his statement. Good evening, everyone. I wanted to be there with you this evening, but chemo had other plans. So I've asked Coach Colvin to read this for me. Looking back at my time, I thought back to when Danny was a junior and he received his first NSCAA All-American Award. I can still remember standing back watching Danny and I heard some non-high school coaches that were there at the convention talking and they were saying, I did this for Danny and we did this for him and I stood there in amazement as I listened. He and whoever he was talking to about their small part in the development of Danny Care was important, as I hoped that my contributions to Danny were important too. And then I thought, no, Danny Care made Danny Care into the great person and soccer player that he became and still is. Great skills and vision and knowledge of the game were important. There would be times when I would call over to talk to Danny's mother and she'd say, Danny's in back with a bunch of guys, they're playing two and two, or, or Danny's just in the backyard shooting. On bad weather days, she would tell me, oh, Danny's downstairs in the basement playing with a small ball, or he's got a Nerf ball and he's shooting at a goal. He just wanted the ball at his feet all the time. He just wanted to get better. He just wanted to love the game. No one made Danny care the outstanding soccer player and leader of our team. No, no one but Danny caused his success. It was my great honor just to be his coach and to be a part of his life. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present a great young man and the inductee into the McIntosh Hall of Fame, Mr. Danny Kerr.
for the warm welcome. Um, you know, unfortunately, Jeff couldn't be here, but what I have prepared to say, I'm gonna go ahead and say as if he was, I know he'll receive this, and I hope you bear with me. I wish I was a little bit better at this, but I've had to convey my thoughts a little bit on paper, because that's just the way I have to do it. Um, so, bear with me. But thank you, Bunky, for stepping in. It means a lot to, uh, to have you do that for him. Let me begin by saying it's great to be back at McIntosh High School for a wonderful occasion. It's especially nice to see so many familiar faces that have played a special role in my life. Yes, even you, Mr. Counsel. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up as an athlete, I was always driven to perform well and to hopefully get recognized for my performances. Having said that, I am truly honored and I'm humbled to be here tonight as an inductee into the inaugural McIntosh High School Sports Hall of Fame. I'd like to say thank you to Mrs. Lisa Fine, Mr. Jason Byers, and Mr. Chuck Buckle, and really all those involved for organizing the event and for establishing a long overdue Hall of Fame. Numerous hours of planning and communication have gone into this, so thank you for your efforts. Thank you, Mr. Stuart Searle, for the wonderful videos, dedicating your time and effort to compose and capture our moments. They help prove, although not overwhelmingly, that at one time we could play some ball. Thank you, Coach Jeff Ford, for your kind words and for my nomination. This would not have been possible without your involvement. You have not only been my coach, but you have been a tremendous mentor, not only for me, but for numerous other students and athletes that have come before and after me. Without your guidance and leadership, many of the successes that this historic soccer program has experienced would not have been possible. And I'll never forget when Coach Ford would actually drive the bus to our away games, which I don't think you can do that anymore, really. No, but I thought about that as I was preparing this, so thank you for doing that, Coach Ford. I would also like to take a moment to recognize a few people who are in attendance tonight and one who is not. With me tonight, I have my wife Katie and two sons, Oliver and Charlie. No, they don't play soccer yet. I get that question all the time. But soon they will, as they have no choice. <laughs> I'm only kidding, folks. Not really. <laughs> my sister Maggie is here. And y'all, she would want you to know that she was a proud member of the first ever graduating class here at McIntosh. Class of 1984, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> my wife would have been four years old then. <laughs> my sister Carolyn is also here tonight. And she would want you to know that she was not part of that first ever graduating class. <laughs> However, she did graduate from McIntosh in 1989. Guns and Roses. <laughs> Appetite for destruction. <laughs> um, and lastly, my mom is here too. Who without her, Stuart, my video might have been, oh, 10 seconds, because thankfully she has done a great job of not only taking many pictures, but making me store the countless boxes in my non-existent attic instead of taking up loads of empty space in hers. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you all for attending tonight. As I grew up playing soccer, my mom, dad, sisters have always provided me with a tremendous amount of support. They have driven miles upon miles to watch me play, cheer on my teams. Through the support, not only have they helped me become a successful soccer player, but more importantly, they helped me strive to become a better person and a strong family man. <clears throat> now speaking for as a family man goes, I believe I could have not had a better role model for what it means to be there for your family and what it means to be there at your games <clears throat> or what it means to be there to give a little whistle letting you know how many minutes are left in the game, what it means to be there to drag the coolers across fields through parking lots in between the games, and what it means to go through the call list to let everyone know practice has been canceled. We used to do that, now we just text. <laughs> um, but what it means to, to, to be there and cheer on the wins, or losses, or really, to just be there. 
December 17, 2007, our family suffered our toughest loss, a loss that has proven to be by far the toughest of all of our careers. The loss of my father, of course, and a wonderful dad. Thank you, Dad, for your love and support. Even though you're not here, I know you are. Thank you, Mom, for your sacrifice, love, and support throughout my life. Thank you to all my family. Thank you to everyone for being here tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much.